As early morning Phoenix traffic picks up, so do things inside the Essence Bakery. Fresh chocolate croissants, my favorite. Eugenia Theodosopoulos is Arizona's own French pastry baking savant. So this is what you call, my chef calls, a love cushion. Um, we made this, a, it's a two day process making croissants. And so yesterday we made the dough and we folded butter in one time. And now today we're gonna fold butter in another time. Every morning this full-blooded Greek goddess of dough makes pastry to feed the masses. Making a croissant, a perfect Parisian croissant, is difficult because it's all about temperature. Um, and in the desert, as we know, temperature is a problem. <laughs> From the devoted Francophiles who live for their morning croissants, to the average bread and butter Joes who come in for their crescent rolls, they all come into essence to devour their daily bread. My favorite thing are the croissants. They take me back to when I went to visit um, France, and I think I've had the best ones here. Sorry, France. But they're so flaky, they're moist, they're delicious. My Eugenia makes the best croissants of all time. I try other croissants and they're just, they're just not quite the same. We have a very devoted group of people working here. Um, people that get here at 2.30, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. And they're respecting all of these rules so that we can make a perfect croissant and perfect pastries. So Tempe was so successful. What made you decide to open up a place here? In our hood, which we're very happy about, by the way. Right, and I live in the hood too, so we were looking and we were lucky enough to find this building. And so um, we had to have it rezoned. And it was an old house um, built in 1959, so um, we were very lucky to find this space. How many croissants do you think you make a day? Oh my, well, Tuesday's a little lighter, um, but Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we make about 500 to 700 croissants a day. That's a lot of croissants. That's a lot of rolling. That's a lot of rolling. <laughs> I will have to tell you that my daughter is your biggest fan. Oh, that's nice. You that's know, a and she begs every day for a chocolate croissant. Double least... bar, double bar <laughs> chocolate, not just one, double but Double bar two. chocolate. The other magical things that quickly disappear from Eugenia's bakery cases are these exquisite neon mini spheres of goodness called macarons. These things inspire little children to dance, and people from around the world seek them out. They even have their own website. And when I first made them, people used to call them hamburgers. So now everybody knows what they are. They're very wildly popular. And I have just stuck to the tradition, and the tradition is that you need to use a lot of almond meal. They're not supposed to be meringue. They're supposed to be chewy. And that's the tricky part about making a macaroon correctly. We are very dedicated to making um, a croissant or a macaroon, um, whatever it is, the greatest that it can be. And I think that we don't try to be frou-frou or we don't try to be over the top. We just try to make a great product and be consistent.